Alright, hello YouTube. I have a new video for you. I'm going to be showing you how to set up Xbox and PS3 on a monitor. You've probably seen, but if you can, yeah, you can probably see I have this already set up, but I'm going to be doing a different setup so we can switch through using a remote control and also so I can have more devices hooked up. If you have, and the only way to hook up a PS3 currently and still get HD is to use an HDMI to DVI converter. So, that works for this, it doesn't work, but the thing is, these cables don't work for some devices, such as my Android mini PC is not compatible. So hopefully this new setup will work, and it'll simplify it a little bit, as you can see, it's not the easiest setup. I have my monitor over here, speakers, uh, VGA switch box, and over here is the old uh, RCA to VGA converter, and we'll probably take this out. And this is how I switch my audio, I used to have to go like... This one was uh, Xbox, PS3, and I could have something else in here. But I'm going to try to get completely rid of this and then try to make this all a little bit neater. Because, since you can see here, since it's, I'm using the VGA cable for the Xbox, I had to have the audio over here. And that's annoying. Also for the PS3, since, this, since the monitors don't support audio through HDMI, I had to have an extra cable plugged in, which was kind of annoying. So now I'm going to try to set it all up, so I don't need any of that extra stuff. I will be using 3-1 HDMI switcher, a bunch of HDMI cables, and this. This is supposed to convert HDMI Oops. this is supposed to convert HDMI into VGA I know my monitor supports DVI but this will it's the only thing that doesn't support I couldn't find an HDMI to DVI box so ooh, very nice construction this is like metal I like this a lot anyway so I'm going to set this up fast motion so you can see it hopefully my camera won't run out of battery and let's get started Okay, I'm not sure where the video cut off because I couldn't see it, but anyway, here's the rest of it. This is the old cable for the uh, audio. Let's unplug this, take care of this later. We'll plug this audio cable into the audio out in the VGA box. Last thing, let's plug it all in. Hopefully, this cable's long enough. Oh. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's turn on the PS3. Okay, we can hear audio, and it's working. Let's see what resolution we're getting. We're going to test this, because this is a thing that didn't work before. I think it's automatically switching over, so let's switch it back. Okay. Make sure we're in 1080p. There we go. I'll need more HDMI cable to hook up everything else, but that's basically the hookup. You only have, so now I only have two cables coming on my PS3, I'll clean up that stuff. But the audio is passed through, so that's pretty nice. And it cuts down my cables a lot. 
All right. I can try to switch to this, but. Yeah, there we go. And there's my Android desktop. As you can see, very nice. Now I'm just going to switch it to the Xbox 360 so you can see it, just to show it's supported. Oh, I forgot I unplugged the Xbox. My bad. Here we go. Power on. Now I'm going to show you guys the remote. The remote's pretty simple. It looks like this. With one button you'll be able to switch between audio inputs. As you can see here, I already have the remote hooked up on the wall, which means I'll have to move this back some. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> it's just hanging there. Alright, so there's the Xbox. You heard the noise. Let's try to switch back. I don't remember which input they're on. Let's go to three. There we go. What's on one? Nothing on one. Two is Xbox. Three. That's one, sorry. It's one, two, three. I don't like the numbering. But it works. So, alright. It was definitely worth the money in my opinion. I can get my audio through HDMI. Um, I easily hooked up to these really nice speakers. I have a subwoofer, which, I, not, which is off screen. But everything has worked flawlessly from the get-go. I just plugged it all in and it was done. I didn't have to have any extra adapters. I can completely get rid of this box here. This I might still keep, but I don't know. So, alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a great day.